This is Dr. Danger. He is the world's last true American daredevil. The only problem is... Dr. Danger got hurt. That's where I come in. My name's Hob. I'm known online as the Amazing Hob. I have two brothers who are just as crazy as I am. Dr. Danger is starting a world-class stunt school. He is bringing us out to his stunt school because he thinks we have what it takes. He thinks we're just like him. Too tough to die. Behavior Clinic, where you go to earn the family jewels. Cash? Yeah. It's January 4th, 2012. We're going to visit Dr. Danger in Tombstone, Arizona. This guy's a mastermind of stunts. He's almost <laughs> died like a hundred times. But we're going out there and just getting a little crazy. I just hope we make it out of there in one piece. There's two ways that Dr. Danger could go. Instant best friends, or... He's gonna line us all up and just <laughs> ass fuck James and Eric. Oh my god, why would he choose me over you at this point? That's You're we, more famous. That's why we brought that's you. That's why we brought you. The mayor of Tombstone said the only thing you're gonna find in Tombstone is your grave. It's gonna be a wild ride. Flying to Tombstone, Arizona. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. Uh, I don't really like flying. Well, you're spending six at least. So the best way to go about it would be like drop 24 bucks and just chug them. <laughs> <laughs> Never met the guy we're going to meet, Dr. Danger. What do you think Dr. Danger's gonna be like? Ooh, ooh, unpredictable. No, really, he's a sad. crazy motherfucker. Flight, flight to Phoenix. It's, it's uh, I think it's boring. <laughs> Famous on the internet, the horse is known as the king of nutshots. He is an absolute animal. The horse! Like us, the horse was chosen by Dr. Danger to attend the Ball Bilderberg Stunt School in Arizona. Dr. Danger? Yeah. 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 Pretty much dead the second day. <laughs> what? We're dead the second day. <laughs> I went to the hospital for like six hours because I had a lump on my dick. <laughs> you fine now? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> But every time I say Tombstone, Arizona, people get all giddy. Like, like, excited. like where are you going? Oh, Tombstone, Arizona. Oh. <laughs> Always wanted to go there. Thank you. After landing, it was time for us to meet up with the last member of the group, Titanium Cranium, and see what Arizona had in store for us. 
titanium cranium. Can't be knocked out. Can't be knocked out. Titanium cranium can't be knocked out. Crossing over like time zones and shit. Time zones. So you thought yeah. it was like really two, I guess. <laughs> like, no, I, I couldn't figure out what time we were. How many time zones did you I guess two, but like it was like three o'clock, and then all of a sudden it was like twelve o'clock. Like, what's going on here? Hob is like known as like fearless. He, he's not scared of absolutely anything. I'm just worried because I got all my stunt stuff in my bag. But he's in there stressing out that they lost his bag. <laughs> really hope it is. You know me, I get nervous not about anything. I'm nervous now. If they lost my fucking bag, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Finally, our bags come around after a couple minutes. Hob gets his bag and the pulley <laughs> strap's broken. <laughs> they broke my bag already. Dude, are they kidding? Yeah, or they have it shipped. No, the bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call in America, getting fucked. That's <laughs> fucking bullshit. <laughs> One travel, slaughter. Alright, come on guys. I'm honestly furious. Breaking bag. The thing is you can't do anything about it. A broken bag's it. better than a broken back. <laughs> <laughs> Works every time. We're gonna walk around the car. We're just gonna look for any damages. Wait, do we have do we have insurance? This covers I just on our roadside. We'll cover you on anything. If you lose the key, run out of gas, you pop a tire, anything. Total the car by accident. Total the car by accident. By accident. You're following the rules of the road. Remember all that. But technically, if the car gets totaled, we don't have to pay for it. Is my grandma driving? I was already going 100 and something and then I lost you guys so I had to wait. You're all good. Alright, bye. Phoenix, Arizona. Home of the ultimate Angus Philly cheesesteak. What do you know about that there, boy? Absolutely nothing. Welcome to Philadelphia, my friends. <laughs> What'd you get? The uh, Angus Philly cheesesteak. Philly cheesesteak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're an idiot. No, you didn't. Uh-huh. You're an asshole. <laughs> so good. 5,000 miles away. You got the Phillies to cheese. <laughs> You're from Philly. You get a Philly cheesesteak in fucking Arizona at an Arby's, dude. You can actually get real Philly cheesesteaks. You live in Philadelphia. <laughs> Arizona's fucking wild! <laughs> Um, but we have a meeting with Dr. Danger, and I'd say we have like 24 hours to live max. Uh, he's like, yeah, just come around, I'll meet you at the bar. And I'm thinking, he's gonna just meet us at the bar? Go to Fremont, make a right on 6th Street, and I guess he's just gonna be waiting for us for the meetup. Like, this is, this is what's going on here? This is fucking 6th Street. It hasn't been a house in like, how many miles? Okay. Just flew <laughs> 5,000 miles, three hours worth of driving. Oh, this is so fucking weird. To come to a plate. I'm gonna go hide in that corner when he comes. <laughs> it kills us. I'll, I'll be alive and I'll let someone know. I'm just thinking, like, what, what is Am I gonna die out here? What's going on here? Like, Hob brought us out here. Hob's even, Hob's even messed up in the head. And then he's bringing us to someone who's even more crazy. So. Yeah. Two cars. Me and Benny, like, hiding behind the cars, like, like ducking down. I was thinking when I met Travis, and it's like fucking—he was so excited because you know, man. Nice to meet you. What do you think? We're gonna have a good time. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Okay, so first of all, um, <laughs> I don't know anybody, and nobody knows me because we don't have fucking permits. We don't got nothing, and we're just gonna rock this place, and we don't care. <laughs> they only have bottle beer. They have bottle beer, which is good enough. You know. Yeah. I get hit in the 
the head. I can't get hit in the face. That's weird. Hey, get him. It didn't even hurt. Oh! I felt that in my wrist, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> So we get to this western town and like we're walking through it like I'm loving it the whole time. Western towns are the coolest thing to me. I'm in heaven. My whole life I've wanted to have a, a western town. Dr. Danger brought us down here to El Dorado to watch the Cowboys shootout stunt fight. Uh, and after the show hopefully we're going to get to meet the main guy and he'll show us how to do some of the stunts they do on the show. Howdy folks, how y'all doing today? I said, how you hayseeds doing today? We're going good, we're going good. We got to go see a live cowboy shoot down in El Dorado. We're all watching, it was pretty cool. We got to see them shooting each other and flying around. And that was pretty cool. During the um, live show, they brought me on stage. Yeah, we've got a fellow there that's paid it to do it too, right? Yeah, I and I did a little gag with them. Let's hear a round of applause for our volunteer. Get up here, mister. What's your name, sir? Hob. Hob, that's a good yeah. name. All right, Hob, uh, go ahead and get out of the way there. They shot at me and I shot at them. And then... All right. Oh, he's fast. It's it for our good guy, Hobbs, y'all. Yeah, there we go. After we got done watching the show, we had like, I guess we had like 30 or 40 minute break. Yeah, but give it a little less slack in the middle. Right. We find this rope. So um, we're like, all right, well, let's fuck around a little bit because that's basically what we're always doing. This is how Nub TV does Western shootouts. Three, two, one. Yeah, all motherfucker! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, that just hurts so fucking bad. <laughs> Wait. I guess I got really hurt. I like landed on my neck or something. <laughs> we were all just goofing around, like kicking the horse in the dick and shit, like, you know, doing, doing what the boys do best. I go out to the desert down here because I've been trying to practice my driving. And this guy, they call him Sarge, he comes in and starts yelling at everyone. Where the hell are these goddamn maggots? So I'm just down there doing burnouts and whipping it and stuff. Making us get in a line. Line up! Like, I'm trying to step up my Vin Diesel level, and I heard him yelling from down there doing my burnouts, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, no one, no one even told me that school is starting. Where the hell's Ben Gravely? Whatever the hell's name is, with the red jumpsuit! Yeah, here! Sarge, yeah, what the hell's matter with you? Oh, yeah, what the yeah. hell you think you're doing? Sarge just freaked out at me. Grady, you will keep your clothes on while you were here. I'm thinking like, what the fuck? Like, is that understood? I thought we were here to learn stuff. This guy's chewing me out like I'm at fucking boot camp. He's the one that's always naked. I'll be watching you. Gentlemen, welcome to Ball Bilderberg Extreme Behavior Clinic. Thank you for coming. I'd like you to meet the Sarge. Now what we're here to do is we're here to learn how to be daredevil stuntmen, okay? So, we're gonna go through several different stunt regiments. We're gonna start off with the easy stuff. One of the staples of the stunt industry for as far back as there's been stunts is get shot, fall down. That'll be your first day is learning how to get shot and fall down the right way. If you do well on your first performance, you will pass. If you do not do well on your first performance, you won't. If you can't pass, you will fail! Do you understand? So what we need you to do is get your game face on, get your act together, and get ready to go to work. Welcome to Ball Bilderberg. 
My job today is to teach you a little bit about weapons. The guns we use are real guns. Black powder packed really tight, just like a firecracker going off inside the barrel. Now we're gonna do a, teach the boys here a little bit about how to take shot reactions. So here's the thing guys, this is a test. You do well, you pass. You get scratches on your elbows, we're gonna be looking for that. Uh, you fell. You stunt me. No pain. That's how you boys gotta do it, all right? Now get out there and do what you're supposed to do! Kidhead, you're next! I'm gonna need a beer after this, boy. Titanium ahead, my ass! <laughs> Worst <laughs> fail ever. You <laughs> ain't be stuck, man! You ain't nothing, man! You're in jail! You're going to the brig! Now get where you belong! <laughs> That's how you did that? <laughs> it actually looked pretty real. Why don't you don't let me see a sorry performance like what I've been seeing. <laughs> Pop! Front center! You're next! Where the hell did you get them glasses from, dumb faggot organization? <laughs> <laughs> that was all right, Hobbs. That was all right. Hey, Pauls, would you steal them out of a clay war mine? Now get out there and do your stuff. Guns don't kill people. Sarge kills people. <laughs> all you need is... Yeah, that was good. That was, you really took yeah. off on that one, yeah? <laughs> James, fall out! This is Ball Bilderberg, day one. Some of you did great. Some of you, I don't think you're gonna make it. I think they're lucky if anyone will make it. Ben, Mr. Gravy, fail. I'm sorry, you did a horrible job. Titanium Cranium, you failed. You didn't make it today. You're gonna have to get your act together if you're gonna make this thing. Horse, the idea about being a stuntman is we're, we're not gonna get hurt. Falls like that will get you hurt. It wasn't the right way to fall, but I gotta tell you, it was a good fall. You pass. James, close, but no cigar. Hob, good job. You pass. Tuck, you pass. Thank you. Those of you that did good, Congratulations. Those of you that failed, you're gonna have to step up your game because we're not here to fail this thing. I need each and every one of you guys to step up to the plate and do what you came here to do. I think you're a pitiful bunch of maggots. I'd be surprised if anybody walks out of here alive. And I need you right now to get your game face on and be ready for tomorrow. Hey, could Tuck, could you put this on? Make sure it's on right. Like, buckle it up good. This is my finger. Dude, it feels like uh, like it's less than a towel. We're out here at Tombstone, Arizona. I'm the horse, and we're in the legit wild, wild west. And I'm about to find out what wins between lead and balls of steel. We're going to be using a 45 caliber single action stunt gun. The round usually weighs around 260 grains and comes out about 900 feet a second. I'm going to cock back and I'm going to hold with two hands. There's no way you can go wrong as far as aim goes. I'm freaking out. Uh, okay, go. What is your dick that hurt? <laughs> That's how you fucking come to the wild, wild west! You get shot in the dick or you go home! <laughs> we did it, and you're still here to talk about it. Uh, okay, go.
Quick dive through hey, that. Quick start. Oh man. Can you? Quick. Fuck no. <laughs> I don't think I'm worried about it. What's that, dude? Shit. I'm not diving through that. <laughs> he like almost just killed us. I just got burned again. You can't dive through that. No shit. Straight up. Okay, how you guys feel now? That was fucking huge. I don't think that's possible. Maybe we should do it on a motorcycle. Way too far out. It's 100% possible, I promise you. That was only two too much fire. Huh? That was all three. Oh, okay. That's, that's too much. Cool. You, you were fucking. I thought it, man. Is that doable?